Up next, not one of my favorite topics, but something that I think needs to be discussed. And that is what fragrance is appropriate to wear to a funeral or something, you know, like a funeral, uh, you know, celebration of, of somebody that is obviously no longer with us. I have to go to a funeral today. And as I was getting ready, as I'm starting to get ready, it made me think what would be appropriate to wear and what should I wear? And it was one of the tougher decisions I've had in a while. So I wanted to kind of go through the thought process next and show you five fragrances that I think are appropriate for wearing to a funeral. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. And uh, today's you know, topic is you know, a little bit more serious. As I said at the outset, this is going to be a list of my five fragrances that I think are appropriate for wearing to a funeral or something you know, similar celebration of life, you know, people do different things. But this is actually to a funeral that I have to go to later today. And as I was getting ready now, thinking about this, it really kind of made me ponder, like, you know, what type of fragrance is appropriate? Um, do you even wear a fragrance? Do you want to call attention to yourself? All these things started going through my head. And so then I started thinking about the fragrances I was going to wear. And I have a list of five that I want to show you and kind of give you my reasoning. So let's get right into this. And, and this is in no particular order. I'm not doing a top five funeral list. Uh, you know, I don't think that would be appropriate. This is just five fragrances that I think are, again, appropriate for wearing to a funeral. Um, so I'm going to go right in order over here. I'm going to go first. Uh, this is from Diptyque. And this is Philosikos. This is a very green, herbaceous fig masterpiece. I think it's probably the best fig fragrance, I would say of all time. This has been around for many years. It's a real niche classic, Diptyque, kind of one of the earlier niche houses. They're from France. Um, and a little bit of my reasoning on this one. This is an eau de toilette. So they have an EDP. I recommend the EDT for this because it's not as loud. One of the things for a funeral, you don't want to be loud. You don't want to be projecting. You don't want people to be sitting there commenting, asking. This is not the time to get noticed or showing off. Of course, you want to smell good and you want to have confidence. And I think you also want to wear something that, that gives you life. I think the purpose of going to a funeral is kind of like celebrating life. We just had, you know, celebrating last week, um, we, after or during Halloween days, you had the Dios de los, de los Muertos from Mexico, the Day of the Dead, where you actually celebrate those that are gone. So I think that a fragrance like this, it's very lively. It's green. It's fig. It celebrates life. It's life-giving. It's energetic. So, but it's not going to overpower. And it's also, because it's an eau de toilette, I get about you know, four or five hours on my skin. So this is not going to be something that, again, that's going to project and make a scene and overpower people. Um, next, one of the newer fragrances in my collection, and I've talked a lot about this lately, this is Oud for Happiness from Initio. Again, another green fragrance. Um, you know, this one, I've talked about the notes before, but you've got bergamot, ginger, cedar. Uh, you have licorice, vanilla, musk. It's so delicious. And what I like about this one Incense is in a lot of the fragrances I'm talking about today, right? Incense is, think about that. It's a, it's a fragrance material that goes all the way back to biblical times in rituals and ceremonies, all the way from uh, in, in Judaism to Christianity to through Egypt to, you know, uh, the Middle East, you know, through just every type of major religion, really, you think about it. And so this has incense also, but it also has this kind of calming mystical effect from the cannabis that's not listed when you read the notes, but from talking to, again, the people from the brand when this was launched, I know that it's in there. And so, it, again, it's kind of a calming effect, but it's also a scent that's not going to be projecting out loud, like, for example, Oud for Greatness, which is going to get you noticed. This is one that's going to sit more closer to the skin, and you're going to enjoy it yourself all day. But it just is peaceful, and I think it's a good fragrance that, that would be appropriate to wear to a funeral. Uh, next, I'm going to go with one of my personal favorites in my collection, and this is Monome S. Rouge from Majda Bakali. 
Why do I like this one? This is a fragrance again that is heavy. You see the bottle there, it's really nice. Heavy on the incense. It's also got LME, it's got ginger, it's got amber, it's got cedar. Cedar is another fragrance to me that's very kind of calming and it has this kind of a skin smell. So this is a fragrance, high quality. This one can get a little bit more projecting than some of the others. So I wouldn't go with a lot of sprays on it if, if you're gonna use Majda Bacali. Um, great house, great fragrance. But again, this one just makes me feel good. It's life-giving, it's energetic to me. And I think it would be appropriate again to wear it to a funeral. Now, piece of advice, this is, you, I talk about this all the time, that I think most people underspray and that I always recommend what would be considered overspraying. I said this, I always spray 10 sprays of fragrance before I go anywhere, sometimes more, but at least 10. A funeral is a time where you do back down. Um, so whatever you normally spray, especially if you spray something like 10 or more, back down. If you're a person who only sprays two or three already, or even three or four, you don't have to back down because I'm telling you right now, that's barely enough anyways. But if you spray anything over seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, I would back down a few sprays because again, you don't wanna, you know, draw attention away from what's happening. Um, all right, let's go to, this would be, I guess, the, the fourth selection. And this is Andrea Mack, and this is Craft. Again, a very beautiful fragrance that has, to me, one of the best cedar fragrances. It's also got this kind of metallic note, which makes it very clean. Uh, it's got some aldehydic uh, notes to it also, patchouli, it's got some water notes. And I like this one for the water notes because again, to me, water is life-giving. And so when I'm at a funeral, of course you're there to mourn and to grieve the loss of a loved one or a friend, or, or but you also, in my mind, want to kind of celebrate life. It's, it's a time to stop and reflect on life and celebrate that person's life and then celebrate living the life that we still have in front of us. So, Andrea Mack Craft. And then that leaves me with my final choice. And again, you know, just as a fragrance that is just one of the best incense fragrance in my mind of all time. This is Mandala from Mas Milano. It's also got ginger. So it's got this great combination of life-giving greenness and effervescence almost and incense and it's just awakening. It awakens my senses. So this is again, it's, it's like, you know, just going to celebrate life. And so I don't want to wear fragrances in my mind that are bringing me down. All these fragrances I mentioned today lift me up, but they're not going to be just screaming out. So again, back down on what you normally would wear on sprays. And I suggest a fragrance with incense, cedar, something that's more of a skin smell that's not going to be super loud and blasting out. Here I am, because again, you don't want to, this is not a day for compliments, obviously. You're not looking for compliments. You just, you're looking to be respectful and, and such. So there you have it, my top five fragrances, or I wouldn't say, again, not top five, I would say five fragrances that I recommend for wearing to something like a funeral or something of that nature. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I appreciate all the support. If you haven't already uh, subscribed, please go ahead and uh, subscribe today because you're going to love the content that's continuing to come out. I've got more and more great ideas and, and great stuff coming to you. Um, that's it. I'll be back soon with another video. Hope everyone is well. Peace and love.